This has been my dream my whole life. Started with nothing, been given nothing, just worked hard, put the hard yards in to get what I've got. I just strive to win. I say to my kids, there's no second. Second, you might as well come last. If you always set goals there, you might not always, you know, you might not always get them straight away, but you've got to keep going till you get there. That was, that was my dream to own the Buckleball of Australia, and we did that. My name's Jason Dittman, I'm from Bloomsbury. I'm a PBR ball contractor of Australia. We drove past this place here and one day I said to my wife, you imagine owning this place? This place would be beautiful, the kids would love it. We drove past it for a couple of years and I said, you know, your dreams come true. If you want something hard enough and you, you're willing to put the hard yards in the work to what you get, you'll get it. My wife and my kids, most important thing in my life. I couldn't ask for any better, they love it here. That fresh air, a bit of dust, ride the motorbikes, come down here, feed bulls, just by like having that that, you know, that freedom, that peace and quiet. Wake up in the morning, no neighbours, no yelling, no screaming, doing what you want, doing what you love. That's what the land's here for. He's just really determined and he loves his family, he loves his life. He dreams big and he works really hard. Jason right. loves his bulls and treats his bulls better than his kids most days. Well, like when we very first started this uh, bull contracting business, me and Kerry Bentley were uh, sitting in an underground mine having a veggie mite sandwich, you know, the old Aussie way, sitting there saying, oh, imagine owning your own bucking bulls. We rode for about 10 years, wasn't much good, so <laughs> I had no other choice but to start being a bull contractor. Eh? I just thought, oh, start working the mines, got a bit more money together, and it was a big gamble. I spent a lot of money at the start just by buying a few bulls, and they, we thought they were superstars. You look at the bulls that we trained back then to the bulls that we train now, totally different era. But like the buck and bulls we got today, they're athletes. You've got to put a lot of hard work in and you've got to train them, you've got to feed them, you've got to house them, and it all costs money. But we slowly got there now, we've got our own herd now. Hopefully we don't have to bloody um, go and buy too many now. Yeah, when the sun comes up, we're all, all up at half past four or five o'clock in the morning. Then his day starts at the, at, the, at the farm here, he'll get the boys going. So the first thing we'll do in the morning is run them through the paddock here and we'll down past or the front fence, give them a good couple of laps. Defender's good for that. We'll run two of them out there and do that, and they know the buggies now. When the buggies come, and um, they know it's time to, time to run. The bulls that we've achieved, what we got now, and bred and bought, we, we, can, we couldn't ask for any better than we got now. Like, we've won like nine straight awards now with these bulls here. Oh, here own the buck and bull of Australia. That's, that, that, was, that was my dream to own the Buck and Bull of Australia and we did that. That superstar takes, a, you know, it takes time to get there and well, I've been proud of him ever, ever since, eh? like he, we're going to retire him this year. Usually the Buck and Bull's big mean, big horns, big bulls, this fella's the littlest bull, no horns, he's just got a big heart. Sometimes we put our Buck and Bulls before our kids, we miss a lot of football and a lot of stuff when we're on the road with these bulls and we spend a lot of time with them and yeah, they become family, that's for sure. You're with them every day. It's like owning a dog. You know, every man there's got their own, you know, got their dog, they love their dog. With them bulls, I know they're, they're bucking bulls, but these, these bulls are like my kids. My whole team here all chips in and we all help out to get where we are. We didn't get to where we are today for not putting in the hard yards. Everyone sacrifices something and everyone puts in that little bit to get where we are. And we you know, we got to keep striving because this is just not for us. This is for the community, this is for Bloomsbury. Like, this setup here has put Bloomsbury on the map. We had the best riders in Australia right near against the best buck and bulls in Australia. Like, you know, with the camping, the band, the big screens, the atmosphere here was unbelievable. Me and Timmy were down the back running bulls up and Jason's come down to give us a hand. And I looked over at the bar and it was 50 foot long. The front gate, there was cars parked everywhere. There was just people coming in, left, right, center, was out of control. And I said, what have we done? When we first started building this arena, we we're just gonna build this arena like, just to train our bulls, to buck our young bulls. Had no draftsmen. No, no one. We just piece of paper, draw it all up. We had a few Barneys, a few beers, and a few more Barneys and a few more beers. Yeah, everyone just put in a lot of time and effort. To get where we are now, it cost me around about $3 million to build this whole complex. The event that we first started off didn't happen overnight. Look, everything we done took time, but the time and effort paid off to run that first event. It gave me goosebumps. I've dreamt this for a long time. 3,200 to pack this whole stadium. I think we turned away 917 people.
he just he doesn't like to lose. He hates to lose. And not just only in balls, what we're doing here, and just to be successful in life in general, for his kids, for his family, for the people around him, he wants everyone to succeed. You know, to run your own PBR in your own backyard, your own hometown, that's that's been my dream, my goal for a long time. But when spectators come to this event, I wanted to walk out of these gates saying, I've been to the best bull rider in Australia. That's what I'm here for. That's been his dream. That's all he wants is to have a PBR here and hopefully one day soon he gets one. Nothing nothing better than having that cold beer in the afternoon looking over this property and you think, oh, we've done some, we've done some work on this place. This has been my dream my whole life. Started with nothing, been given nothing, just worked hard, put the hard yards in to get what I've got.